What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I'm about to make that day just a little bit better. If you haven't yet, make sure you leave a like on this video. And if you haven't, subscribe down below. I hope to earn your subscription today. I've got some updated sales numbers from Bud Light. And it looks like in spite of everything uh, being reported, in spite of everything that's being said, uh, there is panic inside of Bud Light as new sales numbers come out uh, late yesterday that show a quote-unquote significant, staggering drop in sales, a plunge in sales, according to some reports from the latest data. And we're going to get into all that after a super quick word from this video sponsor. What are you doing in my video? Get back to where you came from. Hey, what about my world? What's wrong with it? Are you from a childish game? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. All right, let's give it a try. Audience? Yeah, tell them more about it. We fail, we fall. We lose control. Enough. Stand up and play your role. You ask me, quartering, what's going on? I tell you. Hero Wars is on. It's an epic, crazy game with many heroes, modes, and fame. Brave and strong knight Galahad must save the world from tearing apart. Archdemon took control on land, but team of heroes is in your hand. Upgrade them, teach them, mix them up, and show the villain what is up. Continue journey in the guild, the mighty alliance should be built. Strike down bosses one by one until it's completely done. Get to arena, show some skill and power of strongest will. The tower waits for you to come, all 50 levels you can farm. Be sure to come back another day, new content rushing all the way. Cool events, bosses, modes and loot, amazing heroes, it feels good. In Hero Wars, there's no reskins, each champion unique and wins. Other RPGs are in a shame, cause Hero Wars, amazing game. 100 million, can't mistake, Hero Wars is best for break. Become a legend, claim your gift, five heroes, gems, and gold to lift. Mobile gamer or PC, the different story you will see. Right now, go on and download using my link or QR code. Hey, check out the game. Supports the channel and it's absolutely free. Uh, let's get into the news. So we saw that not only did Bud Light fire the VP of marketing, the woman that went on record calling Bud Light customers fratty and out of date and things of this nature, but then they followed up at least at that day or at least it was reported like the very next day by firing that woman's boss. So not only the VP, but the head of marketing for Anheuser-Busch or for Bud Light in particular, were both terminated. And the left kept posting the InBev stock saying, the stock's going up, you're wrong, your boycott failed, get wrecked conservatives, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's only just begun as it is now being reported a staggering 17% sales plunge amid the controversy. See, this is one thing that, it's not just people on the right, but like just non-leftists. We always, when we get mad about something, we don't keep the pressure up. In this particular case, the pressure is up, has been up, and hopefully will remain. Bud Light suffers a, quote, staggering sales hit following the beer brand's controversial marketing tie-up with Dylan. The latest data showing an alarming 17% drop according to industry research firm. By the way, if you used to drink Bud Light, tell a friend that you quit. If you see someone drink a Bud Light, make sure you go out there and uh, tell them exactly what they're funding. See, I am not above accepting an apology. I think the action of firing both people in charge of this marketing campaign is an act of good faith. It does mean that we're being heard. Now we just need that ever important third piece of the puzzle. That is the apology app actually acknowledging that you messed up and you're making changes to fix that, which we now see are happening. That word salad that the Anheuser-Busch CEO put out was not an apology. The latest sales data from Nielsen IQ and Bump Williams Consulting shows that Bud Light sales 
fell 17% in dollars, while volume dropped a whopping 21% in the week ending April 15th. See, this kind of data is always lagged. It takes a while to get it out there. Now, that's sharply ahead of the 6% drop in sales dollars and 11% drop of volume that Bud Light has suffered during the week that ended the week before. So you had the week before it was dropped down 11%, then the week after down 21% in the seven days that immediately followed the campaign. And by the way, wait till the next week's data comes out because the conservative and the and the non-leftists, I'll just say, the non-leftist boycott didn't really ramp up until the week after. Quote, these numbers are staggering, according to an April 23rd report from Insights Express, a beer-focused newsletter. Right now, this is an extremely difficult scenario for Anheuser-Busch, the Bud Light brand, and for Anheuser-Busch distributors. The campaign had unleashed a torrent of negative publicity for Anheuser-Busch, which announced Friday and over the weekend that marketing executives responsible for the hire had been taking leaves of absence, unpaid, involuntary, involuntary, meaning they were fired, okay? Meanwhile, Bud Light's competitors are cashing in on the mess. Bud Light lost 6.7% of market share last week alone, and Coors Light and Miller Light are up 18%, according to a newsletter. A week earlier, Coors Light market share was up 10.6% over the same period and Miller Light up 11.5%. Coors Light and Miller Light were once again big beneficiaries, according to Insights Express. Anheuser-Busch distributors are meeting with the company in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. Emergency meeting in D.C. over this. Quote, the distributors, some have canceled marketing events featuring iconic Budweiser Cosiel horses, are looking for a much more pointed and well-developed plan on how Anheuser-Busch might stem the onslaught of negative attention from the sales trends, according to Insights Express. Bud Light is the largest beer brand in the United States, but the Mulvaney flap has downsized it. During the NCAA tournament um, from March 18th to April 1st, it was clear the leader of all light beers at bars and other venues up 15%, according to Brewbound, a trade publication which cited data from Beer Board, but... After the Mulvaney campaign launched, the demand for Bud Light trailed other beers by 6% and restaurants. Overall, Bud Light's volume declined 34.7% at bars and restaurants and other venues between April 2nd and April 15th, according to Beer Board. Bud Light dropped to the number four beer from number three during the second week of the controversy, switching places with Coors Light. Absolute blowout, okay? And this is because of you. This is because of all of you sharing the videos. This is all because you're out there, you know, using word of mouth. This is because you're all crushing it. Coors Light, Bud Light's hangover gets worse. Rivals Coors Light and Miller Light sales spike 18% in the wake of Dylan Mulvaney debacle as flagship brand suffers nearly 17% dip and industry in insiders call crisis and extremely difficult scenario this by the daily mail this morning Bud Light has suffered yet another blow in the fallout from their partnership as its rival sales have also spiked while seeing while it's seeing huge losses uh you can look here Bud Light sales dip while the rivals spike down six percent april 8th 17 percent april 15th and another 6.7 percent the following week in the weeks after the campaign launch, April 1st, Bud Light dollar sales dipped 6% as Coors rose 3.5 and Miller 3.1. It seems like people just diverged. One, one picked Miller, one picked Coors, about right down the middle. As the backlash ramped up against Anheuser-Busch with Kid Rock and everything like that, um, sales dropped 17% in the week of April 18th. By comparison, Coors Light sales rise by 10.6% while Miller Light scooped up even more profit with sales rising 11.5%. Last week, sales of Bud Light had risen slightly with the company seeing just a 6.7% dip in sales with rival, both their rivals seeing huge increases of 18%. These aren't new beer drinkers, friends. These are people who are making the change. And again, there's going to be a tailing effect to this because it takes a while, right? People aren't going to spend their money 
and then you know waste it and pour it down the drain and then run right out and buy some new stuff most people you know they're going to go out and they're going to deal with it now you see bud light sales drop induces panic as brand response expected to include ad the beleaguered brand is expected to address a controversy with brand new creative i mean the, the, so they have a whole new now we saw that they launched the um the, the anheuser Bush themselves tried to do the Clydesdale thing. But you see, still, sales volume for Bud Light tumbled by 20% in the week ending last week. Or, I'm sorry, 10 days ago, according to Bump Williams. Still worse for Bud Light, its volume was absorbed by almost entirely by rivals Coors Light and Miller. Coors Light and Miller dollar sales rose 17.6% for that very same week. The last two weeks have been a roller coaster for them. The volume declines they are looking at caused them to panic. There is definitely feel a panic within the organization, said a person familiar with Anheuser-Busch InBev. That person said they expected brand new creative within the next few weeks, which constitute Bud Light's response to the controversy. Their wholesale system and their most of their senior management have been demanding that there be a response to the issue. So internal turmoil on top of everything else. So you have internal turmoil at Bud Light. You have... Um, uh, you have internal turmoil. Then you have distributors showing up, demanding answers, demanding new creative. But here's the thing. New creative actually isn't enough. You need to apologize because when you roll out this new creative, if you have, I, again, like how stupid, all you people at Bud Light, I'm sure somebody, some senior exec or some marketing intern is watching this video. I'm going to give you $100 million in free marketing advice. Issue an apology. Accept you were wrong and apologize for insulting your customers. And then release the new creative. If you release new creative without, all, without preceding it with a straightforward, we're sorry, what we're sorry for. Don't say, oh, we're sorry. We, sometimes we screw up. We love you. No. You have to actually apologize. You have to say, hey, our customers are the most important thing to us. We let that, we forgot that for a minute. And the, and the words of our VP of marketing are the words that you may have heard. Do not represent what we think. We value you. We are sorry. And um, we're going to make it up to you with this new creative and a, and a killer ad deal. I mean, how hard is it? I run a coffee company that's not as, you know, obviously not anywhere near the size of them. Uh, <laughs> but it's pretty easy not to insult your customers. By the way, Mother's Day gift box is launched today, and there's a special surprise in it. Coffee Brand Coffee has candies now. Promo code MOM to save. So, you know, again, if you don't apologize, any additional creative is going to fail. First, apologize, Bud Light. Second, then roll out the new And Don't apologize on a Friday afternoon, you wimps. Put it out today. Tell people what you're actually sorry for, because if you screw it up again, that'll be your last chance, I assure you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.